Intermittent fasting if has become a buzzword in health and wellness circles, but what exactly is it? Let's start by debunking a common misconception. Eating to full meals a day doesn't equate to intermittent fasting. Fasting is a deliberate period during which you refrain from eating. This practice has deep historical roots, embedded in various cultures since the dawn of humanity. While consuming two meals a day breaks your fast, it can be part of an effective strategy when combined with periods of fasting. Intermittent fasting is best understood as a diet multiplier. It can amplify the effects of any diet, regardless of the foods you choose to eat. Traditional diets often emphasize consuming more of certain foods and less of others. In contrast, intermittent fasting focuses on reducing the time you spend eating, which fundamentally changes your eating patterns without necessarily altering your food choices. Let's explore how intermittent fasting impacts insulin sensitivity, a crucial aspect of metabolic health. Insulin sensitivity refers to how effectively your body uses glucose, the primary sugar found in your blood. Lower insulin sensitivity, often resulting from constant eating, can lead to serious health issues such as obesity and type 2 diabetes. To grasp the impact of fasting on insulin sensitivity, it's essential to understand how the body stores and uses energy. When you eat, your body primarily uses food as fuel, serving to key purposes, providing immediate energy and storing excess energy for future use. This process is largely regulated by insulin, a hormone that facilitates the movement of glucose into cells. When you consume carbohydrates, they break down into glucose, leading to a rise in blood sugar levels. Insulin then helps transport this glucose into cells for immediate energy. If your body doesn't need this energy right away, the excess glucose is converted into glycogen and stored in the liver. The liver has a limited capacity to store glycogen, typically enough for about 24 to 36 hours. Once this storage is full, any remaining glucose is converted into fat through a process known as de novo lipogenesis. Imagine you're at Disney World on a crowded day, eager to ride the biggest roller coaster. Think of glucose as the fast pass that lets you skip the line and get immediate access to the ride. However, only a limited number of people can use the fast pass. Everyone else has to wait in a long line, which represents glycogen. While they will eventually get to ride, it takes longer. If the line becomes too long, people start waiting in the parking lot, which is analogous to the body storing excess glucose as fat. The parking lot, much like the body's capacity to store fat, is seemingly unlimited. Now, let's examine what happens when you fast. Fasting means going without food for a set period, ranging from 12 to 16 hours to several days or even months. During fasting, insulin levels drop, signaling the body to start burning stored energy. The body first breaks down glycogen stored in the liver to glucose, as this is a more easily accessible fuel source. However, glycogen stores are limited and typically deplete within 24 to 36 hours. Once these stores are exhausted, the body begins converting stored fat into usable energy through a process known as ketosis. By not constantly elevating insulin levels through frequent eating, fasting helps improve insulin sensitivity. Higher insulin sensitivity means your body can more effectively use glucose, reducing the risk of developing metabolic disorders. In contrast, constant eating and elevated insulin levels can lead to decreased insulin sensitivity, contributing to obesity and type 2 diabetes. An analogy can help illustrate this concept. Think of insulin sensitivity as caffeine dependence. If you drink a lot of coffee daily, your body builds a tolerance and you need more caffeine to achieve the same effect. If you stop consuming caffeine for a while, your tolerance decreases, and a small amount of coffee will have a strong effect again. Similarly, fasting allows your body to reset its insulin tolerance, improving its efficiency in using glucose. Intermittent fasting's benefits extend beyond insulin sensitivity. Numerous studies have documented its positive effects on various health markers, including weight loss, improved cardiovascular health, and enhanced cognitive function. One notable study on the effects of intermittent fasting on individuals with type 2 diabetes showed significant improvements in health markers, suggesting that fasting could be a powerful tool in managing and potentially reversing this condition. However, it's important to approach intermittent fasting with a well-informed strategy. Consulting with a healthcare professional before starting any fasting regimen is crucial, 
especially for individuals with existing health conditions or those taking medications. Additionally, listening to your body and adjusting your fasting periods based on how you feel can help ensure that the practice supports your overall well-being. In conclusion, intermittent fasting is more than just a trend. It's a scientifically supported approach to improving metabolic health and overall well-being. By understanding and harnessing the power of fasting, you can potentially enhance the benefits of your diet, improve insulin sensitivity, and achieve better health outcomes. Whether you're looking to lose weight, manage a health condition, or simply adopt a healthier lifestyle, intermittent fasting offers a versatile and effective strategy worth considering. And there you have it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more health and wellness content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.